Hey, what's up guys? It's Risky here. Welcome back to another Call of the Water video on my channel here today. Today we're going to be doing some more whitetail hunting. I'm actually going to be showing you my personal favorite route for the whitetail. So what you need to do, let's get straight into this. Actually, you know what? We're going to go for a light goal. We very rarely do these. Let's go for 150 likes. Can you guys smash out 150 likes? I think you can. I think you can smash out 150 likes. Let's see if you guys can do it. But the first thing that you're going to need to do to do this whitetail route, this is the route that I use. This is the route I've been using for a while. You can kill a lot of whitetail, especially if you, you know, if you get them at the right time. At least personally on my map, this is a great way to find a lot of whitetail. I haven't really been hunting here as much lately. I've kind of been hunting other places for whitetail and blacktail and whatever else I can find just to help clear up the hunt pressure what i think i might do is along here and here and maybe around here i think i'm going to set up a few tripod stands that i can get into when i see a deer that way if i see one i can climb up in the tripod stand shoot it and then get out that way it reduces the amount of hunt pressure i get when i'm actually shooting animals but a good way to get rid of that hunt pressure is just to go shoot ducks or rabbits and stuff like that in a different area it really doesn't take that long so the first thing you're gonna need to do when you want to do this little route is spawn down here at the Rune Runachi outpost. This is the best place to spawn in my opinion. Uh, and then you can see here I got some hunting pressure, so all my zones are kind of not popping up right now. But you can see moose and stuff. None of my whitetail zones are actually popping up right now, so I might not see as many whitetail as I normally do. But if if you don't have a lot of hunt pressure in these areas you're probably going to end up seeing a lot of whitetail so i know from personal experience and just just knowing the game that the whitetail drink drink time is around like i think it's around like 12 to 15 or 13 to 15 when i'm doing this route i normally set it to about like 13 45 around there like 13 45 46 whatever uh and then i go out here and make sure you have your your 30 30 or your 30 out six on you your mosin whatever uh, the mosin's really good against the white tail and the 30 out six is even better it is just a beast against the white tail so that's probably your best bet but today i think i'm going to be rock walking around with the 44 magnum so the next thing you want to do is you just want to head straight out this way i'll show you where you need to go and the best places to look at first it takes about 25 minutes to run the whole route so uh you come out here you know about you head straight northeast east from the outpost and i like to look this way there's normally some white tail over there but it looks like right now there isn't most of the time there is some right there uh, i think there's a little bit of hunting pressure and you can see we've got some tracks coming through here of white tail just stand out here in this open area and it's starting to rain on me of course and just just look around with your binos give it a good look see make sure there's nothing out there hiding this is what I like to do when I'm running this route. Uh, just make sure there's nothing here. Check all the tracks that you see. Make sure there's no big old tracks. There's 7085 right there. You know, maybe try and find some shit on the ground and see how old it is. We got some bear coming through here as well. This is a very good area for moose, whitetail, coyote, black bear. It's a very good area. And man, it's raining hard. But the next thing I do, instead of heading north, I like to head south. Man, I really got to yell over myself. I can't hear with this freaking rain, so... Hopefully I'm not talking too loud in this damn microphone. <laughs> While we're running over here, are you guys excited for the new trophy lodges? I am. I would be playing the Trailblazer beta and checking out all the new poses for the, the trophy lodge mounts and stuff and the new true fallow. But it's not letting me get into the beta for some reason. I, I got into it. I explained it in yesterday's video. I'm not even going to explain it again. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm assuming the DLC is going to come out next week. So that should be pretty nice. It'll give us something else to do. And see, just picked up a nice drink zone there. Beautiful. Make sure you're picking up all these tracks, guys. When you're running this route and you see tracks, no matter what it is, if it's moose, white tail, black tail, it does not matter. I mean, you're not really going to find black tail down here. At least I've never seen a black tail running this route. Uh, just make sure you're picking up those tracks and make sure there's a chart. I'll probably, uh, I might pop it up on the screen or leave a link to one in the description. There's a chart that shows you all the animals, all the max levels, all the weights that they need to be for a diamond. All the weapons you can shoot them with it's a very good chart i think a zaggy and bz hub made it if you don't use it then i highly suggest it so run that way you know make sure this area is clear run down here and we're just going to be basically running down here and just seeing if there's any deer there's going to be deer on this side and normally around this side you can see where the hunting pressure is that is where i have shot deer before and sometimes when i get a little bit past the bridge there i like to let out a call maybe a bleat or a grunt it doesn't really matter just to get some attention i tend to get a response with the bleat caller i don't really get too many responses with 
the grunt caller, although it does work very well. If you do want to get like a mating call response or something, I recommend using the bleak caller, which, I mean, obviously, if you're trying to find a white tail, it's honestly better. But if you know there is big bucks around, if you know where they are, but you're trying to call them into your stand or something, then I would use the grunt caller. All right, so we're getting over to a clearing now where I tend to see whitetail. I tend to see a lot of whitetail along this shoreline here, going all the way around. You know, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're over there. It really just depends. Right now, I have a lot of hunting pressure in this area, like I said, and it just, I don't know, it might not be the right time. Normally around 1430-ish, close to the end of drink time, is when I start to see a lot of action here, but I figured I'll just set it to 1345 and see what happens. Just to give you guys a little update on the map of where we are, this is the route to start here. Work your way up here and work your way down. Remember, pick up all these tracks. See, we got some white tail tracks in here. Make sure you are picking up all these tracks because you never know when you're going to pick up a diamond track. You never know. Another thing you can do, actually, which is what I'm going to do right now, is if you do have tents, make sure you buy a crap ton of them and just sit them all along the map. So I'm gonna sit one here. Instead of having to walk all of that, I can just teleport over here. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. Um, so over here is pretty much where I end this side of the route. Let's see over here normally is where I have, oh yeah, I normally get some deer there. If you guys have been watching the past couple videos like the past for the past week i've been running this route hunting for a diamond whitetail lately and you know there's normally a bunch of whitetail out here it just it's just it's covered in hunting pressure right now that is the only reason and look oh those are some whitetail nice is there any big boys over there hmm, i don't see any any bucks oh that's a nice one yeah it looks like these guys are fleeing for some reason i don't know why maybe there's a bear or something i don't know but i guess we're gonna head over there and also you see that is kind of like my little marker there that's normally when i turn around I teleport back here and then I head north. I'll show you guys that in a moment, but I really want to go over there and see if we can get one of those whitetail down. But over here on the opposite side of that, there's normally a bunch, like at least on my map, there's always a bunch of whitetail they're drinking. Bucks, does, it doesn't matter. So that's a very good spot to check. You can probably even set up a tripod stand or even hunt out of that stand or that blind over there and wait for them to come in. But let's head over here and try and get that 85 to 100 down. They were hiding over here. Hey, buddy. They just charging me today. Uh, Al, please don't kill me. I wanna, I wanna maybe hit you guys with some buckshot. Any more bucks coming in? Oh, racked him up. There was another pretty big buck that ran that way. Maybe he'll come back. All right, we got one. I don't know if this was the 85 to 100. It might be. All right, let's grab this guy right here. 85. So this probably was him. Get him with that nice shotgun blast right there. Just completely just hit everything pretty much <laughs> uh nice 864 too not too bad there was one more buck oops that was that's not good all right guys so we are back at the outpost that we started at so basically what you want to do is you want to run straight in the direction that you did before you don't have to run this exact direction like i said it doesn't really matter you don't have to follow my exact footsteps you can go that way you can go around and then this way but this is the way i take and it kind of works perfectly fine because you go right out here and you are just right out here to this open area and uh, there might be actually some white tail over here uh, it's still 15 you know what it has been a little bit so we're going to change the time down about 30 more minutes just so we have a little bit more time because it's about 15 right now and i believe the feed zone or the, the sorry the drink zone ends at 15 or 15 30 or something so Let's go change the time down a little bit. All right, about 15.30 will do the trick. Just to make sure. Yep, 15, or 14.30, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, run back this way. And you're greeted with this opening. You know, like I said at the beginning of this route, just look through your binos while you're running here. It doesn't matter. You can run throughout here this first part. I'll show you when you should start walking, though. We're about 200 meters from where we need to start walking. Once we get, like, over this way, we need to start walking because you never know when there's going to be a deer around the corner because it's a lot harder to see. Out here, we got this open area, and, you know, if you see something, well, you can obviously see stuff, you know, spooking if it's there. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> All right, and once you get up to, you know, just out of the opening here and you're about to go into the brush here i would definitely start walking because you can't really see if there's any deer and you don't really want to be running around because when you're running it's much easier to spook animals uh what i like to do is when i'm running just look down your binoculars and just walk at the same time you know just move around you know 
hand-eye coordination kind of comes into play. Instead of, uh, I, I don't recommend walking around like this. This is, this is not what you should do. Don't walk around with your gun out like this. Keep your binos out. Keep them out. Keep looking. Oh, like, see, there's a bear over there. I would have never seen him if I had my gun out. Him or her, or whatever. If you see something, you're ready to shoot. Get a range. Pull out that gun and blast them. But you can see, I got some need zones here. I have killed a lot of the deer at the zone, so some of my, my zones actually did disappear. Uh, so I got zone here. Normally, that's a pretty good spot. Uh, you don't really start seeing whitetail until you're around like this area in there. Stuck on a tree here. But you basically just want to walk this river all the way up until you're around, I'd say, right here where the rivers actually like go off into two different directions. They kind of like Y off or whatever. Uh, and you can see here, I have some tents actually set up. I think I'm going to run up to like around this need zone or maybe like probably I'll run up to here ish and then I'll put me another tent down. I'm going to start putting tents down all across the rivers uh, and then up here and stuff. That way it's just easier to get around the map. So I recommend you guys do that as well. It makes things a lot easier. Something that I'm going to start doing here. Like I said, guys, there's endless possibilities. This is just like the best area that I have found. Just like this whole river here up to about here is just pretty much nothing but whitetail. You're, I haven't seen a single blacktail running this route. I see moose, bear, coyote, and whitetail. Mainly whitetail, especially if it's at the whitetail drink time. But everyone's map is different. Everyone has different spawns. You know, some people might not get a zone here, but some people might get one over there. You know, it's just, it's confusing. So we're going to run up here. I'm actually going to teleport because I have that ability. And, uh, yeah. And now we are up here. It makes it a lot easier. Oh, wait, I forgot I was going to put a tent down. Whoops, I'm a dumbass. Getting a little ahead of myself here. Oh, well. On this island here, I did kill a piebald whitetail, which was very cool. Uh, and then once you start getting to, you know, like here, like I said, the little cutoff where the river starts to go into two different directions you really start to get a lot more moose blacktail and elk these areas so once you get about here just reset the time or something and run the route again man just keep on running it over and over again uh, i'm not going to run the whole route i was just showing you guys my personal favorite route the one that i use the most and the one i'm using to hopefully try and find a diamond whitetail here soon i really want to get one so hopefully i can get me one soon hey if you have any better routes that you think are nice Leave them in the comment section. Maybe you can help some someone out that is watching this video. That's kind of my goal of this video was to hopefully help you guys out, give you another place to hunt whitetail. Uh, there's whitetail all across the map, but like I said, this general area is, at least for my personal experience, where I have found the most whitetail. So hopefully you guys did learn something in this video. If you did, be sure to drop that like button. I can't even remember what kind of like goal we went for, like what, 150 likes or something? See if you guys can smash that out for me. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a bunch, and I'll see you on the next one. Later, guys.